Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the ray diagrams for convex lenses. A convex lens can form both the real and virtual images. There are totally six situations for uh, ray diagrams of a convex lens. Let us discuss one by one. The first one is uh, when the object is at uh, infinity. You know that when the object is at infinity, the light rays will be parallel to the principal axis. So we are considering these two light rays which was which are uh, parallel to principal axis. We know that the light rays which are passing parallel to principal axis will pass through focus. So these two light rays will pass through the focus. The point at which these two refracted rays meet, at this point the image is formed. Now we write down the characteristics of the image. Position of object is uh, at infinity. The object is at uh, infinity. Now position of image. The image is formed at uh, the focal point of the lens that is uh, at f1 focal point nature of image here a real image is formed at the focal point real images are always inverted so we write here as real and inverted now size of image Size of uh, image is uh, here a point sized image or it may be written as highly diminished. Now we go for second one which is uh, object placed beyond the center of curvature. Here an object is uh, placed beyond uh, the center of curvature. Here one point to remember is size of the object should not more than half of the lens. So, here we have to draw an object. I am taking uh, this an object which is uh, beyond the center of curvature. Here center of curvature is there. It is beyond the center of curvature. Now to draw ray diagrams, we have to take uh, two light rays. The first one is which is uh, passing parallel to principal axis this one and the second one is uh, passing through the optic center. We know that the light ray which is uh, passing parallel to principal axis will meet at a focus and uh, the light ray which is uh, passing through optic center is undeviated. So, it comes like this. At this intersecting point, an image will be formed here. This is now, we write the characteristics of uh, this image. Position of uh, object. Position of object is uh, beyond the center of curvature. What is the position of image? The image is in between focal point F1 and the center of curvature 2 F1. So, we write a position of image between F1 and 2 F1. What is the nature of the image? Here, real image is formed because object is uh, on the one side of the lens and the image is formed on the other side of the lens. So, uh, the image is uh, a real image. Real images are always uh, inverted. So, we write it as uh, real and uh, inverted. Now, size of the image. Here if you observe, the size of the image is uh, less than the size of the object. So, we write as uh, smaller than the object or we can write it as diminished. Now 
now we go for third situation which is a object placed at the center of curvature here an object is placed at the center of curvature this is an object which is at the center of curvature now again uh, take two light rays to draw ray diagrams the first one which is uh, passing parallel to principal axis and the second one which is uh, passing through the optic center we know that the light rays which are passing parallel to principal axis will pass through focus and the light ray which is uh, passing through optic center is undeviated means uh, it comes like this so the point at which uh, these two light rays intersect at that point an image is formed now we write uh, the characteristics of image position of object the object is at the center of curvature so we write it as at 2f2 center of curvature what is the position of image the image is formed at the center of curvature at uh, 2f1 nature of image here also it is a real image and real images are always inverted now size of the image here if you observe the size of the image is same as the size of the object so same size these are the characteristics now we go for the fourth situation that is a object placed between center of curvature and a focal point here we have to draw an object which is uh, placed between center of curvature and the focal point like this again we have to take uh, two light rays one is uh, passing parallel to principal axis and the other one which is uh, passing through optic center as we know that the light rays uh, passing parallel to principal axis will pass through focus and the light ray which is uh, passing through optic center is undeviated so it takes the path without any deviation like this here at this intersecting point an image is formed this is the image now we write the characteristics of the image position of object object is uh, placed between center of curvature and focal point so we write it as between center of curvature 2f2 and uh, focal point f2 what is the position of image the image is formed beyond the center of curvature so we write it as uh, beyond 2f1 what is the nature of image here also real image is formed and real images are always inverted images what is the size of the image if you observe here the size of the image is more bigger than the size of the object so here we write it as enlarged image is formed or we can write it as magnified image also this is the fourth situation now we go for a fifth situation that is the object placed at the focal point now we have to draw an object at the focal point like this and again we have to take uh, two light rays one is uh, passing parallel to principal axis 
and the other one which is uh, passing through the optic center we know that the light rays passing parallel to principal axis will pass through the focus and uh, the light ray which is passing through optic center is undeviated so it uh, comes like this If you observe here, these two refracted rays are not parallel. So, they are supposed to meet at a, po at a point somewhere at infinity. At that point, uh, at that intersecting point, the image will be formed. So, we write the characteristics here. Position of the image is uh, at focal point F2. And position of the image is uh, at infinity because we don't know where do these two light rays will meet so we write it as the position of the image as at infinity nature of the image is uh, here also real image is formed and the real images are always inverted images size of the image is a very big image that is uh, highly enlarged this is the fifth situation now we move for uh, the last situation that is uh, object placed between focal point and uh, optic center we have to draw an object here between the focal point and uh, optic center this is an object and again uh, we have to take uh, two light rays One is passing parallel to principal axis and the other one which is passing through the optic center. We know that the light ray passing parallel to principal axis will uh, pass through focus like this. And uh, the light ray passing through optic center is undeviated means it follow its path without any deviation like this if you observe these two light rays they sub they do not supposed to meet at any point so where will be the image formed let us discuss here real image is not formed here virtual image is formed so for that we have to extend these two light rays these two light rays meet at a point at this point an image will be formed the size of the image is much larger than the size of the object now we write the characteristics of the image the position of the object is between f and o now position of the image the image is formed on the same side of the lens so we write it as on same side of the lens nature of the image here a virtual image is formed and it is a, an erect image size of the image size of the image is much bigger than the size of the object so we can write an enlarged image.